In this video, I will show you how to create a box blue light effect. And I saw this in a recent video and I thought it was really cool. In this video, I will also show how to do the Fox cell. And before you click away, I'm actually also gonna give away this Mac mini. So keep watching. So let's go through the animation first. As you can see, we have this really cool brain image and then a circle pops up with this noisy texture. Some text pops up. We have this molecule in the background, some more text. And then it goes to this animation where it zooms out, this line animation comes in and then this sun pops up and then we have these circles pop out and it zooms in. A simple text animation and that's basically it. Now normally you would find some music first and that's what we're gonna do. And if you're anything like me, you hate looking for music and you also spend way too much time on it. But Audio has a solution for that and that's why they're the sponsor of this video. The solution I'm talking about is LinkMatch AI and it's a new feature. And I've been using this a ton. For example, we can just take the link of the Fox video, we can paste it here and AI will do its work. But even Spotify, so if I have a favorite song, I can just go to share copy song link. I can just paste it here and search. It will automatically search and it will give song recommendations based on this song. Now, sometimes it can be that you don't like it or what happens a lot is that I don't like the vocals. Well, you can actually remove those too. So there's a feature called Elements and there you can basically download, for example, only the instrumental. You can also download all stems and then later on, for example, lower the volume of the bass or increase the volume of the bass, basically creating a whole new song altogether. And what's even more crazy, there's a 70% discount code in the description down below. So sign up for audio, download your song, and let's go back to the animation. Let's first create a new composition, 4K 25 frames per second. I'm just gonna call it Fox, and we have our basic layout. Now I need to insert some assets, which you can download completely for free. Link is in the description down below. First, we have this paper texture, which I'm just gonna rotate 90 degrees, and I'm gonna scale it up. You can just go to transform, fit to comp. There we go, scale it up. I'm just going to create a new solid, going to layer new solid, selecting this gray, drag it down below and then go to T for transparency and let's dial the opacity for this paper texture a bit, something like this. Then let's add the melatonin and I'm also going to dial that down maybe to like 10%. It needs to be really low or maybe even six. Scale that up a bit. You can even add a blur to this to make it blend a bit better. I'm just gonna use a Gaussian blur for that. There we go. And I set that to seven. There we go. Then I'm gonna add the brains, which is a bit low res, but that's fine. I'm just gonna scale that up a bit. And let's see, maybe a blending mode like multiply actually works quite well here. I think it could work. Just add a brightness and contrast increase the brightness a bit so it blends a bit better yeah i think that's really cool i like that we already got a bit of the scene let's scale that up a bit even more now to animate it i'm just gonna rotate it so press r for rotation set the rotation point and then drag this out a bit and let's maybe move it like this and this goes way too slow let's drag this out a bit then right click right click keyframe assistant easy ease there we go and let's drag the curve editor a bit so by clicking on the graph editor uh, let's curve it in a bit something like that it's really smooth i like that now let's add the first blue circle and i'm gonna do that by just making sure that i select the ellipse set the stroke to maybe something blue like this let's just drag it out like that go to the selection tool and let's move this a bit i'm also going to increase the stroke and now i'm going to add a gaussian blur to this so just a gaussian blur should work there we go let's increase this by a lot to something like this now add a noise alpha and this is actually a really cool trick let's increase the noise first by a lot so we can see what we're doing as you can see it now gives noise to everything what we can do is set the original alpha to edges and it will just apply to the edges of course we need to decrease it now a bit maybe to something like this we can also play a bit with the blur by increasing the blur for example but i think this already looks really cool i really like this effect now to animate this i'm just going to press s for scale set a keyframe drag this keyframe out set this to zero let's play it it's already cool i just need to right click all the keyframes a keyframe assistant easy ease go to the graph editor now select the last keyframe and make sure it ramps in a bit. I really like that. 
Now I'm gonna link it to the brains so we can basically press P for position and then we can move the brains over to the right. Again, select all the keyframes and you can also hit F9 to easy ease the keyframes. That is really cool. Now for the line that links to the text, I'm just gonna use the pen tool, make sure nothing is selected then maybe set the stroke to seven or five. Let's set a point here and let's set a point there. Maybe actually set the stroke to 10. There is actually a plugin that creates nulls. So you can basically animate the start and the end. But for now, I'm just gonna animate it manually by going to contents, shape, path, keyframing the path, and then we can select this point. Make sure you have a reference point because we're using this brain, it's actually quite easy. We can just select this part, for example, here and go a bit further, selecting the same point, holding shift so it stays on the same axis and then making sure it's on the same point. Now select your keyframes, easy ease them. And now if we play it, it should stick to it, as you can see. It's quite a cool animation. And like I said, it's sometimes easier to just do it manually. Now we can add our text here, Mela tone in make sure that this is a bit of the same color so i'm just gonna eye drop this there we go let's move this a bit now for the animation of the text itself you can just go to text animate in so in the animation presets and then we're just gonna use random fade in this will fade in the characters as you can see and this is not perfectly the same effect but we can adjust it so just open the text open the text, go into the animator, go into the range selector, go into advanced. And here you see smoothness. If you set this to zero, then it will just pop up really harsh, just like the animation we're recreating. And later on, we can of course, or duplicate this text or copy this animator over to our different text. Now I might adjust this a bit later on, but I like this. So for now, this is fine. I'm just gonna make sure that after a while this fades out. So I'm just gonna select all the layers except brains and except paper and of course the background. Press T for transparency, set the keyframes, go a bit further, then set it to zero. And this will basically fade out everything. Actually, I might keep the blue circle or maybe make sure that it doesn't go out completely. So it just fades out a bit, something like this. Let's drag these keyframes a bit over to the left so we have a bit more room to play with and go to layer new null object. I'm just gonna call this motion. And we can now basically just select everything except again, the background, we don't need that. And just link this to our motion. And then we can just set a keyframe by pressing S, scale it out, press P for position. Let's drag this to the beginning, press U to see all our keyframes. I'm gonna drag this out a bit more and let's move this to the bottom where it belongs. And then maybe a bit to the left. There we go. Then select all the keyframes, hit F9 so it becomes a bit smoother. That's cool. It's a cool animation. We can of course drag this out a bit so it goes a bit slower. This will also make it a bit more premium. There we go. Now let's create the dotted line first. And it's actually quite easy. I'm gonna use a ellipse for this because it's really hard to draw a circle. Now just make sure nothing is selected and let's make sure that it's a full round circle. So hold shift so it scales proportionally. And let's drag this out a bit, something like this. Make sure that it's like around the head. Press V to move this around a bit, somewhere like this. And now I'm just gonna go into the rectangle tool. So hold your mouse down to make sure that you select the rectangle. Then make sure the tool creates mask option is selected. Then we can just draw a mask on the top half, somewhere like this, there we go. And we have our first half circle. Now, of course, I do want to change it a bit and I'm just going to go into the ellipse and into the stroke and change the color to maybe like a darker yellow, something like that. Let's increase the stroke with also a bit, maybe set it to 17 so it's a bit more visible. And then I'm going to press this plus sign on the dashes. This will add dashes. I'm going to zoom in a bit so you can see what I'm doing here. As you can see, there's dashes here. I do want them to be a bit longer so they're more visible. So I'm just going to increase the dash to maybe 30. It's already better. I'm also going to make the color even more dark to something like this. There we go. Now to animate this in, I'm just going to use a trim paths. So you can just use the trim paths option by going to add and then trim paths. And then in the trim paths, I can animate the end. Now we just need to make sure that the starting point is right. And as you can see, it's not. It starts at the top and we don't want that. We actually want it to start at the 
left side. And the easiest way to do that, to set the offset to minus 90 degrees, there we go. And now we can just animate the end uh, basically from zero to I think 50%, yeah, to 50%. And then we have a perfect half circle. So we can just set a keyframe here and basically uh, making sure that once it's here, like when the head is aligned well, drag this keyframe out, set it to zero. Let's select these keyframes, hit F9 or right click keyframe assistant, easy ease. Select the last keyframe and let's animate this a bit better so it's a bit more smooth. Beautiful. It's almost like a rainbow. Now there's also like this sun glow behind this and that's actually quite easy to do. We can just duplicate this, make sure that the trim paths is not on here anymore. So go into the contents and delete the trim paths, change the shape to white or maybe like a bit like a dark gray, almost the same color as the background, something like that. Press OK, then right click on this shape, go into layer styles and select inner glow. Then make sure this is underneath our line. And let's go into the inner glow, change the blend mode to normal opacity, maybe even 100%, increase the size by a lot. And as you can see, with this beautiful sun glow, of course, we need to change the color a bit. Now I think it's a bit ugly, maybe to something more warm, something like that. Press OK. And what's cool about this is that we can even keyframe this color so we can set a keyframe for this color and then later on change it to for example blue press ok and now what this does is it basically goes from yellow to blue which is such a cool effect now of course we need to fade this effect in so basically setting a opacity keyframe by pressing t i'm just gonna fade this in like that and of course our brains need to be on top of this so i'm just gonna select the both top shapes and I'm just going to drag those down by a lot. There we go. Now, when we go back to our animation, there's still a couple of things that we need to create. One is the sun with this cool noise texture. Then, of course, this cool circle effect. And let's also create this top gradient. Now, let's start with the simple thing. And that is that top gradient. It's just creating a rectangle, making sure the stroke is off. And you can actually just set a gradient fill to this. So like a linear gradient. Press OK. We can just draw this out and as you can see this gradient is now not nice it's really harsh we can just change that by going into the selection tool by pressing v and you have this selection we can just drag this out like this or if you want to have it the other way around you can just move it like this there we go now of course we do have to animate this basically we want it to animate from left to right and i'm going to do that by changing the anchor point so press the pen behind tool let's drag this to the left Hold command to make it snap. There we go. Or it's actually control on Windows. Then unlink the scale, set a keyframe. Let's go a bit to the front and let's set the first scale value to zero. And this will then scale it up like this. Of course, we can easy ease this. We can add motion blur. Now again, looking at our example, other than that, this is just basic text, a black circle and a sun PNG. And these are all linked to each other and animated from top to bottom with a position keyframe. Now that I have explained that, let's go to the sun. And for that, I'm just gonna use a ellipse, make sure nothing is selected. Let's change the fill to solid and let's change the fill color to maybe something like the same color, maybe a bit lighter and a bit more yellow, something like that. Then just hold shift to make a cool sun like this. Press V to move this around. Now we can just right click and go into layer cells and then inner glow. Then of course set the blend mode to normal and the opacity a bit higher. Increase the size and set the color to maybe like a darker yellowish, something like this. And then what we can do here is we can just increase the noise by a bit, not too much, maybe 20% or something. And there we go. That's a cool effect. Now to animate it, we can use the animate along path technique. But in this case, it's quite an easy animation. So I think I'm just gonna do it manually. So just press P for position, set a keyframe. Then let's put it to the top, something like here. Then go into the pen tool, hold your mouse down, go to the convert vertex tool. And with this, we can now click on this top point and then drag it out. And then we can make sure that it's like nicely round and aligned well. We can also do that with the bottom one, by the way, if we want to. I think actually this one, 
we need to move a bit. I'm just gonna see if it's gonna work. So it depends a bit on where the anchor point is. So let's see. Actually, I think this works quite well. I just need to easy ease it. So select the keyframes, hit F9, and we can drag this out. And as you can see, we have this really cool sun animation. Now for these sun rays, I'm gonna use a really clever technique. And I'm just gonna right click first, go into transform, auto orient, and orient along path. And what this will do is it will rotate the sun along the path. And why we need that is we're gonna add some sun rays. So let's go into the pen tool, make sure nothing is selected. Then let's just draw something like this, like this. Perfect. And I'm gonna use a Gaussian blur, increase this by a lot. Make sure the repeat edge pixels is turned off. I might even add another point, maybe drag it out a bit like this. And then let's go back to our blue circle, copy the noise alpha and paste that on here. Maybe increase the amount even a bit to 70%. Let's deselect it. And as you can see, we have this really cool noise pattern. Now what we can do is link this with the parenting option to our circle. And as you can see, it will then rotate with it perfectly as it should be. Now for this last part where you can see all these circles expand, I'm gonna use another clever trick. I'm just gonna use a ellipse, turn the fill off, make sure nothing is selected and go into the ellipse tool, turn the fill off, then turn the stroke on. Let's maybe do it like a darker bluish color, something like that. Let's drag a circle, something like that. Go to V for selection. Let's move it a bit like this. Now I'm first gonna go into the ellipse and I'm gonna add a wiggle paths. And this is actually quite a cool effect. Just go into the wiggle paths and then change the points to smooth. And then I'm just gonna play with the size and the detail a bit. Like I said, this is a really cool way to make something look more organic. And what's cool is it automatically animates. As you can see, it moves. Now I'm just gonna press S for scale and let's animate this a bit. So set a keyframe, set it to zero and set it to 100 and then we'll fade it out. Now, as you can see, we still have one circle, but here comes the trick. And circle is actually also one of the code words to win a Mac Mini. Select the circle and add a echo effect to this. Now let's go back a bit and now we need to change this a bit. So basically you see a couple of parameters. We can change the echo in seconds. I'm just gonna hold command on Mac or control on Windows to dial this down a bit. Make sure that there's a bit of space between this, maybe something like this, then increase the number of echoes to maybe five. And as you can see, it will create this almost like a cool wave pattern. And of course, after this, we need to fade it out. And I'm just gonna do that with a simple opacity. And then you will get something like this. Don't forget to check out the sponsor of today, Audio, for all your copyright free music. Link is in the description together with a coupon code. Like I said, I'm gonna give away this Mac Mini when I hit 30,000 subscribers. So don't forget to subscribe. Let's see if you found the code word and then I'll see you in the next one. Bye.